In business news this morning, it looks like Facebook is having a little trouble getting its cryptocurrency off the ground. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on this. So, Tyler, uh, what's the delay here? Yeah, well, we're seeing a report from the Wall Street Journal that Visa and MasterCard are reconsidering their support for the cryptocurrency Libra right now. Now, this comes as they are facing increasing scrutiny from regulators because partners such as PayPal and those aforementioned credit card companies, they just received requests from the U.S. government to explain how their anti-money laundering measures will be applied to Facebook's cryptocurrency. It's making some of these other companies quite anxious, especially after seeing the grilling that Facebook has received from financial offices in the U.S., the EU, India, and China, all about this Libra cryptocurrency. Right now, Facebook has 28 backers, but all they've done right now with these organizations is get them to sign a non-binding letter of support. So it looks as if there's a little bit of cold feet with these Facebook partners right now. Got it. And another story, uh, story rather that you're following today has to do with cyber breaches at Canadian businesses. And I understand this is having a really big impact on consumers. Yeah, it's something that we should all be very, very concerned about because 88% of Canadian businesses are now reporting that they have been the victims of breaches this past year. That's up 5% from a year ago. And this new report from Carbon Black reveals that the businesses most frequently targeted are in fact retailers. It's concerning because of the customer information that they have on file. Let's say even if your credit card information is totally protected by the retailer, I think we've all been at the stores before where we've been asked for your name, your phone number, your email. A lot of the times that information has not been protected. So best advice you can have right now is maybe don't provide these stores with that information. It's not actually necessary unless you really want to score some sales down the road. But uh, be wary because this could come back and bite any, everybody uh, down the road. All right. We have been warned. Uh, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver on this Wednesday morning. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you, Sonia.